All right, Blue Moon's done. Gold Comet is up next. It's time for us to head off and do a little bit of a silo scramble. I believe this is a, yeah, it's a combat mission. It's a race to the missile silos. Secure them first and launch away. What are the conditions of this terrain, Sonya? Wait, what's that there? Those are explosives. Sound the alarm, we're in danger. Oh, father. Do calm down, they pose no threat to us. Those are the missile silos I had installed. But those in place, our country's defense networks is practically perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. While attacking from afar may not be my, to my liking, it's also in times unavoidable. While we await the enemy, instruct me to use these silos. Commander Convey. Our forces have been ambushed. <sighs> what? The enemy is here? Oh. There's no way we're under attack. Impossible. It can't be. My intel reported no enemy troops in this region. No. The silos, they're unguarded. The enemy is trying to take them. Hmm. Do not worry, Sonya. I will go. Uh... But... But what if the enemy reaches them first? You'll be... I'm the leader of this country. I shall not fail in my duty. Gunbay forces, ride. Move out. Kanbei definitely is the dad of all time for this series. Ugh, still can't get over Flack's little grabby hands that he has. Wait, father. Listen, the missile silos can only be operated by infantry or mech units. If your troops reach them first, you'll be able to launch a single missile. <laughs> I understand. Do not fear, my loyal subjects. Kanbei rides with you. I like that this is a, a, an introductory to missile silos when, if you did the Blue Moon campaign first, uh, you, you got introduced to the missile silos through the factory mission, but whatever. All right. First things first, go over to CEOs. Kanbei, the leader of the Gold Comet who has a soft spot for his daughter. His superior units are full of fighting spirit, yet they come at a cost. All units deployed are, have 20% cost increase, but they gain plus 30 firepower and defense. Very strong, very expensive, especially when it comes to like medium neos and bombers. And naval forces, can't forget the naval forces. But then again, naval units have always been incredibly expensive in this series. His likes are Sonya, his dislikes are computers because he's such a dad. Seal Power's morale boost. Kanbei's units gain plus 20 to firepower and plus 10 to defense. His super seal power is Samurai Spirit. Kanbei's units gain plus 20 to firepower and plus 30 to defense. Their counterattacks also deal plus 150% uh, damage increase. I believe that was actually something taken from Sonya in the original Advance Wars, and I think she has something different because Sonya was more of the counterattack specialist than Kanbei was. As you can see, Seal Meter, a lot to build up for his regular Seal Power, but not as much for his Super Power. So honestly, I feel like it would be a lot better to just build up his Super Seal Power and be done with it. Alright, well, let's get our infantry out. We'll have one start making his way down here to try and start getting some of these silos. We'll have the other one come down here to take the city, and then we'll start moving him down here to take those silos. Another thing we need to do is we need to start getting some city properties as well. And uh, I probably should have gotten that recon to try and at least like hold the bridge down here because he's only going to be getting infantry to start out with. But I think we might be able to get a recon down there before his infantry make a push. I think his infantry is basically going to start capturing the seaport as well as the cities down here before he really makes a big push to take the island silos. Yep, just like that. Not even a mech unit, either. Alright, we're gonna get you down there. We'll have you start capturing that city. Let's get ourselves a recon. And I probably should have put the recon there instead. I'll just get some more infantry out so we can continue capturing property. I'm probably gonna send that dude over here to take the seaport. Let's just leave the equator out of this. 
Oh, I love the dialogue from these characters. Oh, that could be a problem. Recon ain't gonna be doing much against that thing, that's for sure. I uh, could possibly slow him down, so we'll just use that for delaying tactics. Do I do not have enough for a tank? I need to start getting some more cities under my belt. Don't you have enough for an ABC yet? Jeez. Yeah, like I said, combat units are very, very expensive. If you can get like a good number of them out or have a mission where they're pre-deployed, they're very useful. Honestly, though, I personally am not the biggest fan of combat just because of that increase, and it's just like, if you don't have, like, a good layout of, like, early cities to uh, match the uh, the high troop cost, then it's not really worth it to have combat as your seal for a mission. Yeah, let's get a tank down there. I was debating on should I have a tank or should I have artillery down there, but I think I'll get some artillery or rockets made when we capture the bases on the center island. Your CEOs would smack talk uh, at the start of your turn when it when the enemy CEOs do that. Uh oh. Eh. I mean, it's a good thing he attacked a unit that was already in a city. All right, let's get you over here. Get you down there to start taking the seaport. Nope, still not enough yet. Can, okay, cool. I can't hit both of them. Just gonna do this to soften them up. Hopefully, give my. Uh, recon a little bit of like breathing room and hopefully they'll be able to last at least long well enough for my tank to get down there to reinforce them. So something tells me he's probably gonna waste his next missile and I'm gonna say he's gonna target my tank. Or he's gonna target the units down there, okay. What up, boys? You got this. Uh, I was kind of hoping that you would combine the units that we have one less tank. Okay, you know what? I'll get another APC built, just so that way I can also start garrisoning some mech units into there. job of holding off his troops. Part of me is debating on should I save that missile for later or should I hit him now to weaken those tanks even further. I feel like this is going to be a very long battle. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the tank down there just yet. This is going to be a, a pretty long battle, so I think I'm going to save it for when his more dangerous units start coming into play.
but I will get some artillery. All right, and also just to showcase how expensive combat units are compared to other COs. Yeah, there's the price of his naval units. It's almost not even worth it to get naval units for combat. But I mean, if you're able to somehow save up enough money for one, uh, battleships are definitely a very useful unit to have. Alright, you boys did good. You held them off long enough. Reinforcements are finally here. And that artillery can't really do anything. Back to the city to heal up. Guess who? Wow. It was at, what was it, a 63%? And yeah, they were still able to one-shot those tanks. Hmm. Something tells me that it's going to load these guys into here, and he's going to start making a push to capture the island. I think I'm going to save my missile for when that happens. Oh, who would have guessed he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. Okay, I need to see how to play this. That should do it. Artillery, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. The tank should be able to tank it, so yeah, let's get him uh, taking care of these guys. As for you, we'll get you dropped off right there. Until I get that base, or do I want to get him now? Mm, it's tempting. It's very tempting. Or should I get a medium tank? Nah, I think we'll get rockets. They'll be traveling on roads, so they should get there pretty fast, and then we can use that to hold this bridge. Really? You're gonna charge tanks? Alright. Guess you guys really do have a death wish. Ooh, he decided to do a rocket strategy as well.
All right. Name of the game is Blockade. I need to keep him from getting to me to get a missile silos. Hold out. You got this. Well, two of you got this. I gotta start clearing these guys out. I'm gonna be losing a good number of tanks, but if I can just close the distance, then I'll be able to at least inflict something against him. He's like, um, lying. Ooh, you should not have done that, Flack. You really should not have uh, taken away your meat shield. Of course, those rockets might uh, deter me. Well, at least one of you survive. Cool. I can at least do something against it. Never mind. one of our big boys out. should be good enough health. Oh, wow. Didn't think he actually would be able to... Okay, it was at three, so yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I had to look away for a second. But at least now I can finally get my tanks to the front lines. Let's just deal with these guys real quick. Ah, uh, almost. Almost could one-shot him. That's fine. I got back up.
Okay, I would very much like for you to get off my beach. Man, that defense bonus, plus the defense bonus from the missile silo, is really good with Kanbei. I, I clown on how incredibly expensive Kanbei's forces are and how hard it is to really start out a level with him. But once you start getting those troops deployed, mm, still really good. He's, he would definitely be my second favorite of the uh, Gold Common CEOs. Or my, my personal favorite out of the three of them will have to come later, though. Alright, uh, he's got a good number of troops out in the field, and they're spread out pretty far. I really wish... Yeah, it's either hit the land or hit the troops. They're already down to 1 HP, though. technically doesn't have the funds to be able to purchase any stronger units, so let's just keep weakening his tanks some more. getting light tanks out. Okay, who wants to be my first victim? Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Victim number two, come on down. It's time for you to die. And why not? Number three, I can't let you feel left out. Nice. Just out of range. Hmm. Well, I have this missile, and I have a very juicy target I want to hit with it. I kind of just want to get a battleship, just so that way we got the land covered. We technically don't really need a lander. We can get some good tanks onto the bridges. You can definitely uh, push, Stay as you way. just saw earlier. Oh, he's going for a desperate gamble. Alright, good luck, bad luck. Let's see how it goes. And 
normal luck. Well, congrats, guys. You were able to at least slightly dent the tanks. Now it's my turn. As much as I would love to do Samurai Spirit, I think we'll just go with a morale boost. Allow me to show you my strength. Who wants to go first? You? Would you like to be so kind? Oh, great. You actually took a little bit of a hit there. I probably should have sent you up against the the ones out in the field instead. Ah, uh, well. I'm probably never even gonna have a chance to deploy him, but hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. that goes along when you get morale boost going. It's immensely satisfying that you just see them just take a pot shot at your unit. It just plinks off the armor, and then you just see them take a shot back, and it just, like, send them flying off. that much. You know, I just realized, I think Flax's HQ is nestled into a corner, so if you can, like, uh, barricade the troops in, then you can really just, like, capture the HQ and not have to worry about, yeah, it's nestled in a corner, so if I can just get, oh, no, he's got, oh, no, wait, yeah, we can. So, let's just do this. We're gonna have our boys fall back, and we're gonna have them just stay right there. 
We'll send our tank in to take care of this tank column right here. I'm just gonna put you right here with my rockets. We're gonna cover that base right there so no long range units try to harass my troops while we take the HQ. And we're just gonna use what remaining troops we have to just like keep his forces at bay. might be a problem. This is definitely going to be a problem. Okay, how do I want to go about this? Okay, let's do this. Let's use the lights to take care of this tank up here, and then hopefully that should be enough to get my mediums down to block off these guys. Yeah, it is. Cool. And we'll fire on them just because. working on that, we're going to work on this. I'm taking the seaport, by the way. Rushing stuff's what I do best. Only question is, will your troops be alive long enough to actually even do any damage? This right here is actually a visual representation of what it's like to slam your head into a brick wall. He knows it's over. He knows there's nothing to do, so he's just gonna slam his head into that wall as hard as he can and hope for any results. And by the enemy, he just is really hellbent on taking out my artillery. And he couldn't even manage to do that. Okay, let's get a little bit more power before we take that HQ. did not think that one through, did you, Flack?
taking this, by the way. It's not mine. Can I actually take out these mechs? Mm, yeah, we can take them out with the, the tanks we have above. Yeah, a 7 against a 3. 3's got no chance. Oh, everyone's dead. Give me that base. Guess I've been outwitted. Nobody is allowed to be smarter than me at battle stuff. It must have been a fluke. Well, whatever. I'm out of here. <gasps> Father, you could have captured the enemy. You could capture the enemy HQ. Guess you didn't really need any silos after all. Perhaps I was over over prepared. Huh. No, Sonya. Those silos made a difference between victory and defeat today. Father. <laughs> Onward! The next challenge to overcome rests just beyond the horizon. Raise your voices in victory! Hey! It's a good thing I went on a murder spree that last turn. <laughs> 